Hello, welcome to another demonstration of real-time BIM editing via the cloud, this time based on the Forge platform and the new OAuth 2 authentication processes that allow us to access projects in other people's accounts, not just our own personal ones. This sample is based on the model derivative API node JS sample in the standard GitHub developer Autodesk collection of Forge API samples. So these are the Forge platform samples and this is the model derivative API node JS sample. I forked that into my own repository and added a room edit 3D suffix to it. I added just two parts to it really. In the viewer part, so in the client, in the browser, I added the extension, the Room Edit 3D Translation Tool extension that I implemented for the previous sample, and also in the JavaScript part, I added the Room Edit 3D API Client JS module which implements the post transform function called by the viewer extension to send the transformation information which consists of the selected element external ID and its translation via REST to the web server, so from the client to the server. Then on the server side of things, in the routes, I added a room edit 3DJS module which accepts this REST POST request to the transform path and reads the request body and broadcasts it to the world via sockets.io. On the Revit API side of things, I have the Room Edit 3D app, which has been very slightly changed from the previous version. The previous version was listening for broadcasts via Socket.io from Room Edit 3D, herokuapp.com. The new one uses the URL Room Edit 3D v2, herokuapp.com. On the web, I have Heroku. And I deployed this viewer sample on Heroku in Room Edit 3D v2. Run that, I'll reload it, and you can see that I have logged in here. This is the standard Autodesk Forge login in the production server. The other staging and development servers are not supported. But I log in right away again, and it's stored my credentials so that happens automatically. So in my Jeremy Tamic hub I have uploaded the standard sample file that I used to demonstrate this room edit 3D viewer. Um, there's my hub with my project and a folder. In this case the item is directly stored in the project and uh, a version of that specific file. If I click on that version then you'll see the model being displayed in the Forge viewer. I can also download either the whole model or you can see here the internal structure of the model is retrieved via the model derivative API. I can for instance drill down into the furniture in here I can see that one of these two rooms contains all of these different instances of the round dining table with chairs. They all have the same diameter, but there's quite a number of instances of those. And if I select a specific instance or other elements, I could select walls and whatever. Let's just pick this table. I can ask for a download of that specific geometry in OBJ format and this geometry is being translated and downloaded to my local file system. If I click on that you can see 
it's being displayed by the uh, Mac OS X OBJ viewer. So this is what one of these tables looked like. So that's a quick overview of what you can achieve with the model derivative API. And now let's look in more detail at the room edit aspect of this and start up the application listening for these um, the broadcast of the translation of selected elements in the viewer in Revit. I'm opening the same model or actually the source BIM in Revit. A bit off the screen. And in here, initially I have the simple viewer selected. If I select something here, I can look at its properties. And now if I start the room edit 3D extension, I can select an element and drag it. Initially nothing happens because I haven't subscribed to the changes in the Revit application. Now I subscribe to the changes. And from now on, if I select an element and move it around and wait for a moment, you can see how it updated the BIM. Pick the next table here and drag that over to there. Jack, and you can see how it jumps across. Or if we look in a top view here and in a top view there, to get the same view in both environments. I can click this desk here, move it a little bit, and you can see how it jumps across in the Revit model. There's no limitation. Uh, the furniture is not limited to residing within a room, so I can move that desk completely out of the room. And you can see how it jumps out of that room, or I can also move walls for instance this will update the BIM a little bit more radically I can drag this wall and you can see how the BIM has been automatically updated so um, basically this is all very easy and it's up to you to decide what you want to do with it. So have fun with the Forge platform and with the Revit API, combining these two, if you please. Or if you explore further, you might find that the Forge API enables you to do a lot of things without even touching the Revit BIM. And I wish you a lot of fun and success exploring these new possibilities. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.